Southpaw fighter, the UBC European Schoolboys champion. Beat Mohamed Enes Kaina, the Turkish fighter in the semi-final on a unanimous decision. He's got really good head speed and very good movement in the ring. Showed that off in his semi-final. It's a very, very dominant performance. And Kajaya was one of the favorites for this tournament before it even started. So it's a real surprise to see that he's made his way to the gold medal bout. Everybody that's watched him has said that he's used his boxing smarts throughout every single bout to better his opposition. Bogdan Chedlik and makes his way. Another EUBC European Schoolboys champion. And a victory over Kirill Stankiewicz. A unanimous decision in the semi final. Very good little fighter to watch. He was able to burrow in close and use a lot of power during his semi final. Getting in low, getting underneath, and then coming up strong. And shooting from the body from close range, but still, as I say, able to generate a lot of venom in the punches that he was throwing in that semi final. It was a semi final that really was never in doubt but it's a great opportunity this now for Georgia to finally pick up a gold medal here this evening and you can already hear that the home fans are starting to G on their fighter there you see the Georgian trying to take it all in before this bout gets underway it looks like he's trying to be relaxed, but there's still a bit of a stiffness about his shoulders as he stood there. As the Ukrainians present the pennant to the Georgian camp. A little touch of gloves as well in the middle. And we can finally get down to business of the lightweight category final here in Tbilisi, Georgia, with the Georgian fighter Kajaya in the all red coming out of the red corner. The Ukrainian in the all blue. And the Georgian looking to lead off with that right hand, the southport. Just darting it inside. Doing what he did in the semi final, which is keeping that right hand moving quite a lot. Throws it up and almost zigzag it like Zoro in front of his opponent at times. We've said a few times this evening that some fighters don't really have that quick snap, but he certainly does with that right hand. He's trying to use it well in the opening minute or so. Hasn't been too much to follow up with. And hasn't really caught the Ukrainian too often, although that one, again, just tags him slightly on the chin. Not too much power in it. That's a better right hand from the hometown boy in red. That's a good jab, a couple of good jabs there. He looks like he's got nice balance there, Kajaya. And when he throws that lead hand, he puts something on it. He means it to be a weapon. And he's kept Cheldok quite quiet so far. He's muscled his way in a couple of times and let his hands go, but hasn't really managed to, to land too much. And the reason he's slightly apprehensive or hesitant is because of that jab that's what it can do for you if you're all the taller fighter you've got that physical advantage and you've got a jab it makes it very hard for the shorter man to close the gap without fear of being punished well, he hasn't been able to do what he did in the semi-final chill that hasn't been able to get in close just yet and just when you think the right's the problem the left starts to come as well now for Kajaya and a very good opening round for the Georgian and just establishing himself as the dominant presence inside the ring the first round is in the books, a touch of gloves as well as they go back to the corners, but you have to say Demo Kajaya was really good in that opening round. It's split four ten nines to Kajaya. Sheldon though still getting a 10-9 his way. So not quite the perfect opening round for Kajaya, but it looked pretty good from where I was sat. No, he boxed well, boxed well, and we've seen a number of contests over the course of the week where you've got a 
tall fighter who's got the height and got the reach that comes with it, and they haven't really used it. I see it often in all codes of boxing, but in Aiba boxing, maybe more than pro boxing. They don't really use that jab. It's not really a weapon. And when they've got the shorter fighter looking to walk them down, that is what you need because that is what can keep them at bay. And he's got it. He's got it, Kajaya. And he uses it. And then he threw that left-hand lead a couple of times too and, and caught Sheldick. That was a good round. He won that round clearly. More of the same from Kajaya from his corner and from Henry Georgian here inside the Olympic Centre. And again, goes to work with the right hand. And this time you see Cheldup just trying to use his left hand to bat away that jab before it comes in as he looks to get inside there, but he goes in too low and Kajai is able to just step into it and see the head go underneath the armpit and there's no real problem in that sense for the Georgian. Now he leads with the left, the fighter in red. We're going back to that right jab once more for Jaya. Sheldon getting in close this time, trying to be a little braver and step in a little bit more. Goes with the right hand to the body, but Kajaya is quick enough as well to step away. And look at him trying to goad on his opponent a little bit there, just leaning that head out, leaving it hanging there. Sheldon once more looking for the body instead, ignoring that head, ignoring that tease. And again, another right hand just down low. Little le left just pops his opponent. He's just taking what he can get at the moment, Sheldick, but it's not quite enough. He's nicking the odd punch to the body, but he's moving that head pretty well there, Kajaya. And what Sheldick really needs is for Kajaya to pull back in straight lines, because then he can step on him and then step on him again. But Kajaya doesn't do that. He keeps him moving, keeps him turning, and it makes him difficult to catch it's a good disciplined performance this from Kajaya because he won that first round boxing to a plan I make him winning this second round boxing to a plan not quite as clearly as the as the first but it's good discipline a couple of rights just a moment ago and then a left as well round the side from Kajaya now he's starting to throw a few more punches when Cheldut comes in close to ensure that he stays away and a little left just right at the end there just after Kajaya was caught it was basically right on the bell that the left caught his opponent and that seemed a cleaner shot of the two of them as we get set and ready for round three underway and the scores on the doors give it to Kajaya 10 nines across the board and the Georgian fans are very optimistic now that their first gold medal is going to be coming this evening that was his round again he did better in that round, Sheldick, but just didn't quite manage to do enough. That's a good example there. He gets close enough to land the right hand, then pulls his feet back out because he doesn't want to be too greedy. Then just a few seconds after that, he got into range, committed, kept his feet in there, and whilst he did that, two or three punches came back. You see there, that right hand pull back worked for him, and then he just stays on the inside a little bit too long. He's in with a, a difficult fighter to, to, to beat here, Kajai, because, as I said earlier on, we haven't seen this too many times. You haven't seen someone, a tall fighter, really make the most of their physical advantages. And that's what he does. He's doing it impressively as we move into the third and final round. Two minutes away from a gold medal for Georgia here in the capital Tbilisi as they exchange a few blows each. Kajaya keeping the space, catches him with a right hand as Cheldok steps forward. Cheldok going down low, but there's no real physical contact with the shots he fires. And once more, Kajaya just throwing a couple of jabs at the gloves that are right up of the Ukrainian. And again, able to step away from the problem when it gets in close and just sidestep it and keep the space. Head needs to be nice enough from the Ukrainians in, indicated by the official Kajaya ducking away from a swinging right hand and then as he moves and tags with a right of his own 50 seconds to go again it's another round that the fighter in red is fairly in control of landed a couple of blows straight down the middle from each hand before he ducked down and we had to pause for a moment 
Another sidestepping right that he's used a couple of times in this third round. A little more adventurous from Chelda because he shows a little more desperation in the last 30 seconds or so. I make this a fairly decent performance from Chaldick, to be honest, because he's not just flying forward, trying to be gung-ho and walk through Kajai, because that won't work. He knows that won't work. He's tried to make the adjustments. He showed some, some intelligence here in the way that he's gone about it, but Kajai has, has had an answer for him. So it's a, a solid enough display from, from the Ukrainian, but Kajai here has responded to the occasion, responded to the pressure, box smart, stuck to the plan, and won the fight. It's just difficult to hit as well. And we saw it a lot in that latter part of the second and obviously the third round that just still had a lot of movement. And you always think that like a big lanky fighter is going to be easy to tag if you do get inside. But the speed in which he was able to sidestep and, and move away. And not only that, but swing while doing it. One thing he does, balance. one thing he does well, which which he mentioned, was that he kind of leans in with the head, so he plants his feet quite wide, so he's got that solid base, and he leans in with the head, just uses that waist as a hinge. It makes it look like he's got his weight on the front foot and he won't be able to get it back, but actually he hasn't, because he's just hinging at the waist, leaving that head in. You go for it, he pulls it back, and then he throws. He's a good fighter, so is Cheldick. I enjoyed that. Listen to the reaction in this arena as Georgia picks up his first gold medal of the evening. Gemma Kajaya then will be stood atop the podium for the host nation. And a very good performance in D1 on split decision. And as you say, Andy, it was just he had answers. He had answers to everything. And he was just a very, very tricky, tricky, I think, would be the way you describe him, as somebody to try and deal with. Just difficult in so many aspects of the fight. It's a good performance, and as I said a couple of times, I like it when you see a fighter with the natural physical attributes he's got do what really they're supposed to.